everyone! This video is all about making puppets. As you know, puppets are a great way to keep your classroom active and entertaining. They are also a great way to encourage interaction in English and enhance your instruction for very young learners. Let's learn how to make some simple puppets that you can use in your classroom. One easy way to make a puppet for yourself and your students to use is to use a paper bag. Brown paper bags in the U.S. are very commonly used to pack a child's lunch to take to school. You may have slightly different kinds of bags or even leftover bags from a store. If you can use paper bags around this size, it can be a great puppet for your hands, like this. You can make puppets like these. A bear puppet or a dog puppet. You can also make a puppet with your kids, which is a great activity to practice the parts of the face. First, get a plain paper bag and some markers. I'm going to use a black marker and a red marker. First, draw two eyes. I'm using a black marker, but if you want to use blue, brown, or green to match your own eye color, great. Keep the eyes simple for your kids. Just make two big dots, like this. If you want to make it look a little cuter, you can add an eyelid or lashes, like this. Next, draw a nose. It can be a dot or a curved line, like that. Next, draw a mouth. Do it over the folded part of the bag, which is right here. Okay. You can use a red marker, just like me, and put the top part of the lip right here above the fold and the bottom part right below the fold. You can also draw a tongue on the inside of the fold right here. Next, draw two ears. I'm using the black marker again. Here's one ear and the next ear. Last thing, draw the hair. I will make the hair like mine. You can do whatever you like. Like that. Now you have a paper bag puppet. Hi, little Joni. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Next, you can draw clothes on your puppet or glue some clothes on, like this. Anything that can enhance the look of your puppet is great. Some people even like to glue yarn on the head for hair, like this. Just have fun with it and be creative. Another easy puppet to make that students can use themselves is a popsicle stick puppet. These sticks are typically used for popsicles or ice cream bars. It's a great way to recycle the sticks and not waste them if you regularly eat these sweet snacks. Of course, there are many things you can use instead of popsicle sticks if you don't have any. You could use straws or chopsticks or even pencils, any kind of stick that you can glue paper to. All you need to do is take a picture on paper and glue it to the popsicle stick. 
you could make a picture of a fish like this. You could just make the outline and have students color it in. Be sure they color both sides. Then glue or tape the picture to your stick and you have a puppet. You can also use the Welcome to Our World pop-out puppets in the student book, like these. Here is Mia the monkey and Polly the parrot. Students can do a dialogue with their puppets. Hello, my name is Mia. Hello, my name is Polly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Squawk. Then students can go around the room and introduce their puppet to other students' puppets. It's a great way to encourage them to speak in English. The easiest puppet that requires no resources except a marker is a finger puppet. You can simply take the marker and draw a face on one of your fingers. Like this. Hello, my name is Tiny Tina. Nice to meet you. I'm so tiny. I have tiny eyes, a tiny nose, a tiny mouth. I need some tiny friends. Have students make their own finger puppet. To make it easy, you could name their finger puppet after them. So, Min's finger puppet could be Tiny Min. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about how to use different kinds of puppets with very young learners. They are easily entertained by puppets, even a simple finger puppet. As long as you can use a voice and make them move, little kids enter into their imagination and connect with the puppet. They also love to use puppets, and it can create a fun and comfortable atmosphere for them to express themselves in English and add a new level of excitement and wonder to your classroom instruction. Have fun! <laughs>